Yo, oh, yo, it's your boy Ben Bok back at it again. So in this video, we'll analyze uh, my games from the online Olympia that I played today. So we started things off against uh, Cuba. And I was playing against the young Carlos Albornoz Cabrera, uh, Grandmaster, pretty young player. He's like 20, 21. Uh, so I did a bit of preparation. I saw he always plays E4 and he might not have expected to play me because I... Uh, uh, Jordan is our board one, but he was not playing today. So I wanted to play the Sicilian because I wanted to get more of an interesting game. And he played knight f3, I played d6. And here I was expecting him to go d4 to open Sicilian, after which I would take. Take. And usually I play the knight of here, so knight of 6, knight c3, and a6. And there's a lot of moves both sides have here. Uh, but my opponent had other plans. He played the move check. So now I blocked with knight d7, this is what I usually do. He castled, I played a6, and he went bishop d3. Now if you're new to the game, you might be thinking that this is a very bad move. Because white's blocking this pawn, which is stopping him from developing this bishop. But we'll see the idea shortly. So I played knight gf6, he played rook to e1, I played e6, and he played c3. And here white's idea becomes clear. He wants to go bishop c2 and build a big center with d4. So I played bishop e7, bishop c2, b5, d4, bishop e7. So I have all my pieces developed, but white does have the center, even though these pieces are not developed yet. So white also has something to say for uh, the fact that um, he's a little bit behind in development. Anyway, here my opponent played the move a4, which is a tricky move, because if black were to castle here, now white can go e5, hitting the knight, and if I move my knight to d5, white goes queen to d3, threatening checkmate, and if I block that with g6, now suddenly white can take, black recaptures, and I lose a pawn on b5. So that's the point of this move, um, a4. So after the move a4, I took on d4 first, he recaptured, and now I cancelled. So I actually had a game here in uh, Tata Steel Chess 2016 uh, with the black pieces. And I think my opponent just played someone like knight b to d2, after which I had a fine position and I actually went on to win the game. But here my opponent played the move bishop d2. I believe this move is fairly new. And I think the idea is to develop the knight as c3. And if black ever goes b4, then this pawn on b4 can be a bit weak. Uh, so I played queen b6, bringing the queen out. And he played a5, hitting the queen, and I played queen to c7. So I'm hoping that this pawn on a5 will be a weakness in the future, because my queen is always keeping a look at this pawn. So he played knight to c3, I played rook a c8. So here I'm threatening to go b4, kicking the knight, hitting the knight, and if the knight moves, the bishop on c2 is hanging. Uh, and if white were to go rook to c1, I don't think black can actually take this pawn, because white has knight d5 hitting the queen, and um, I would have to move the queen back, and now he can go bishop a5, once again hitting the queen, if I take, white takes, and has a fork, and so I would have to go queen e8, but I figured he, he would go knight c7, queen d8, and something should happen with this nasty discovery, but I don't know exactly what, but it, it feels like something unpleasant is about to happen. Uh, but instead of that, he played bishop d3. Um, but I felt like he was taking... Okay, so here we see he had uh, 12 minutes, I had 30 minutes. So he blitz out the opening, but both sides were already taking his time here. And I played the move e5 after one minute of thought. But the move e5 has some strategic risks. Now the main move I was considering from white here was the move d5 to block in my bishop on b7. But I figured that after um, knight is c5, hitting the bishop, and if he were to move it, I then wanted to go b4, I should have sufficient counterplay. Because if white goes something like knight b1, I have b3, distracting the bishop, if he takes now this pawn e4 is hanging, black should have a good position. And if he goes knight a4, now I can take this pawn, because the rook is no longer protecting it. So I take some strategic ri risk with this bishop, but I'm hoping, but I'm banking on the fact that with dynamic play, it, it's, it's justified. 
And if he goes to knight a2, I want to get an fb3. And if he takes now, I take an e4, to which uh, I should have a good position because I get the center. But instead, he played queen e2, and he thought for a long time about that. If we look at the clock, he thought for like um, almost six minutes, which is a bit risky in a rapid game. So I took on d4. Uh, after one minute, he recaptured and I played rook f e8 fairly quickly. I wanted to keep up the pressure. Uh, so I just want to go bishop to f8 and attack this pawn on e4. So he played queen e3, bishop f8, uh, hitting the pawn. He played queen g3, and now knight c5. And here I thought I was doing pretty well, because white's having a really tough time defending this pawn. He cannot play f3, because, oops. And so he just decided to go for broke with a move knight f5. But I believe here I came up with the right sequence of moves. So I was looking at knight takes c4, but I thought the problem was that if he takes, and now I take with the knight, he has this move queen h3. And you might be thinking, hey, that's a free bishop, but why gives a check? And if you take, then check and checkmate. So I cannot do that. And after queen h3, I thought that if I go someone like g6, now he gives a check with the knight here. And if I take, now he can take with the bishop. And all these dark squares around my king are weak, so I didn't really want to do this. Plus white also has the bishop pair, so here white's very much in the game. So I think I came with the right sequence, which was bishop takes e4, which might look counterintuitive. But the point is that after takes, takes, now all his pieces are under attack. So he felt forced here to give up the bishop pair. Uh, if white gives a check, I just go king h8. Pawn on f7 is defended, so that's not going to work out for him. And yeah, once again, he was also getting low on the clock. And I have an isolated pawn, but the fact that I have a lot of counterplay here towards the pawn on e4 more than compensates for that. Uh, so let's go back to the game. Knight f5, bishop takes e4, he took, I took, he took an e4, I recapture with the knight, hitting the queen and hitting the bishop. And he played queen d3, defending everything. So I could keep the knight here on the board, but I figured that he can go somewhere like bishop f4 and put pressure on this pawn. So I decided to simplify the position. I took on d2, he recaptured, and I took on e1. I was also considering queen c2, but the problem is that here white takes on e8. If I recapture, now I lose my queen. And if I take the queen first, here white... Probably white has a check, yeah. Black cannot take, because my king is in check, and if I move the king over, he takes here. And I cannot defend this, so black's just lost. White gets too much material for the queen. Um, but I decided to take on e1 first, and now queen c2. If I play someone like g6 first, he can go knight e3 or knight e4, stopping me from entering the position. So I played queen c2. And now if white trades, the end game is very good for me, because this pawn is pretty weak. I'm up a pawn, first of all. He cannot go rook e8 because that allows the back rank checkmate. Um, so, and also he had only 20 seconds on the clock and I still had four minutes. So I was pretty happy with that. And so he played queen g5, now I had to be careful. It looks like I can just take a free pawn. But if I take, he has a check. I cannot take because that puts my king in check. And if I go king over, he takes here. And at the very least, he has a draw, but there might even be more after queen d5. So I definitely don't want to do this. Uh, so I played g6, putting the knight under attack. And he played knight to e3, hitting the queen. Now, I could have just taken the pawn here, but I figured he would do something like knight d5 and go for some tricks. So I think I came with a good move. I played queen to d2, hitting the rook. And now if white were to go rook d1, that would be a big mistake, as now I go rook c1. He can never take, because his king is in check. The only way is to block, and oops, that's a free queen. So he played rook to f1, and I was considering rook c1 here. But the problem is that now white goes queen d8, defending this pawn. And if I trade, he recaptures. And if I take here, he goes queen to b6. So I was getting a little bit... I saw this line... I was getting a little nervous about this, because if I go b4, he's going to take, and if I go b3, 
I thought he should be able to go here. If I go here, he goes a6, b2, a7. And I can queen, but he takes and he makes his own queen. And white should have pretty good drawing chances here. Because I only have an extra pawn. And if I go somewhere like g3, king g2, and knight e3, the pawn is kind of blocked. So white should, have, white should have pretty good chances to draw. So that's not the way to go. So then if you don't know what to do, what is always a good idea? Take a pawn. So you play knight at d5. I went queen e5, offering queen trade. And I think here he should have played queen d2. Black should be winning because I'm up two pawns. But there's still a lot of technical work to be done. I would have played rook c4 here probably. I'm trying to go rook d4. And after rook d1, I was considering, I think bishop g7 to go here. And I'm up two pawns. Black should be winning. But once again, there's still a lot of work to be done. But instead, he gave a check. Now I just go king g7. Once again, if he trades the queens, he's just lost. If he goes knight h5, I just go king h8. The knight is hanging. Once again, the queen trade doesn't help white at all. Uh, so he went queen g4. Now this knight is not hanging because he would take the rook. Don't fall for that. But I played rook c4. This knight is still hanging and I hit the queen. And he played queen c8. A very weird move. I just took it. And I won the first game. So I was pretty happy with this game. Beating a strong GM with black. Um, and yeah, with that win. One second. One second. With that win. I. There we go. I paved the way to a 4-2 match victory over Cuba. Let's go. So I was pretty happy with that win. Um. Anyway, hope you enjoy hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.